Howdy y'all, this is Reckless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in our yin and yang tribe, where last time we were debating some decisions about our yin tribe, about uh, having babies with the rogue males. And um, for genetic diversity's sake, it looks like we're going to. Um, I'm about to have Ivory potentially have a baby with one of the rogue males, and then there was a second rogue male that we were trying to re-find um, in here to potentially have a baby with him. And then we had some babies over here that were absolutely adorable and were um, doing fairly well so far. Um, we have uh, Belial, our baby that is from Baal and Isreme. Um, so he will be a great addition later. Um, hopefully we'll be able to keep that melanism in the family tree. And then we had a weird surprise. Um, Franz and Azazel's baby Permafrost got the albinism. Um, and I realized that I had put that into both of their recessives. So, um, there's a small chance of it happening, but it happened, so we're dealing with the repercussions of that. So, um, other than that, I don't think we have a whole lot more going on. So, I'm more interested in seeing if we can finally get that rogue male to come and meet with um, Ivory over here. Maybe? If I can find him again. Um, Hi! There might be a reason why that rogue male hasn't been showing up. Taruk. He has the albinism recessive. He has DNH. He's not that old. And he's pink. <laughs> okay then. And he has that big nose recessive. He's got double velvet paw, which is why we couldn't hear or detect him on the other side of this. Um, I guess we're gonna have to invite him, because we don't have much choice. We need those, um, other genes. Let's see if we can get him to come with us. Who got a leech? You. Boy? So, we are also still trying to convince that rogue male, though, because I think he had other immunity genes. But it does look like he disappeared on us, unfortunately. Dang. Um, we're gonna have... I think Frost and Sansa go on ahead and also come to help. Um, mainly because they can help with uh, that and I was gonna have Frost potentially have a baby with one of the rogue males as well. And it would be nice to be able to um, get more out of that space. So let's see, let's grab this. Have meringue come over and kick the tree. Well, darn. There are so many bunnies. Do you have enough attack? Hmm. I can see her doing it just for the simple fact of we need the food and they're stealing all of our berries. Okay. Um, let us have Azazel meet with her real quick. I use her turn to get her across the way. 
um, we'll move permafrost to the edge. I need to get Milan off of the shore. Grab that coconut. Push the baby towards his dad. Um, grab this. Come to this space and grab that root. There we go. He can come over, meet with her, and step away. Dad. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think those rogue males decided we weren't worth it. Okay, all three of our sickly creatures. Well. Hello. Oh, that's the first one. That's the one that we attacked a couple of times. Were you stuck over there? Okay, hang on. Frost, I didn't set up your mutation menu. We're gonna go for Nimble Fingers. Just because that does seem to be a little bit more effective. Grabbing roots is fun, but it's not the most effective. So let's do Nimble Fingers, especially because we had to fix his stuff. Um. And I think I'm going to do Hammer Tail. Or should I do Mega Horns? What does he have? He has Ram Horns. So it's something. Let's do Hammer Tail. Why not? Why not? Hammer Tail. Okay. Um, we'll let her grab that. I'm gonna let him use his turns, because... Seriously? Fine. There. Now he can go away and leave us alone. He's not the one that we're going with for, um, Ivory, though, so... He needs to go away. And actually, I don't think Sansa would tolerate him. I don't think any of these guys would tolerate him, actually. The only reason some of them are considering it is because of, um... Of Frost. We've kind of depleted some of these resources. I mean, there you are. Hey, friend. Hey. Where did he go? You're looking for one, but there are two. He can grab from poison berries safely. We'll have Frost come over here. Uh, Sansa can purr for her. Let's pull these guys on over. Do I still have the entire other side? Yes, I do. Alright, we'll come check on them to make sure that it's only him that gets it and only one of them and then also that we have other things. Okay, um, BB is going to stay off of the edges. I saw movement. It was the Dodomingo. To stay a little out so I can kind of keep an eye on things. Um, 
have ball come off of the darn Dodomingo. Okay. Permafrost is old enough, thankfully. So we can get her further. Milan can grab coconut and come across. I hate Dodomingos. Um, let's grab that for the tribe. Try to grab that for the tribe. I am really gonna, I'm gonna smack that Dodomingo. I can't help it. It's annoying me. Um, Zazel to here. Nice. Uh, I can't get him much further than this though, so we'll put him here. It's Reme. I'm 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 done with that Dodomingo. I'm just done with that Dodomingo. It's annoying me. <laughs> it's annoying me so much right now. Stop it. Okay, he's only got two days left, which is fine. So that other rogue male has to be over here somewhere. Quanto has C and B, and the only males she could- <sighs> This is why you don't have children that are potentially going to be sick. There he is! There he is, okay. Everyone's used their turns. Let's go to the next day. I knew that was gonna happen. I just knew it. Okay. Let's see. Um, yes, that is the correct one. So let's have Ivory mate with him. I'm pretty sure she's the one, yes. And he decided to go ahead and take off. That's fine. It's expected, actually. Um, could you please not try and eat my creatures? No. Just a please in there? Ivory. Of course I picked Ivory. Dang it. She's my pregnant one. How much time do you have left? Six days? Alright. I thought that was John, and not who it actually was, so let's see if I can get some of these guys around. Dang it, Meringue has the most strength over here. Sansa needs to be purred for, so hang on. Buddy, what do you want? Yeah, run. Alright, you focus on food. Because I told you to. Grab the grass. Grab food. Grab food. Grab food. Food. It looked like it was going for ghost first, so I hope it was going for ghost. Would you stop it? You're a pest. You're an annoying little pest. Alright, you. Here. Better than nothing. Got it. Um, let's see what we got. Yay! My little balance baby grew up. Permafrost is struggling. 
Let's get them away from the swamp before we have those babies. Um, let's get Azazel. He can't grab that, but he can definitely light us up over here. I didn't realize that was there, but okay. I should check more often. Um, she only has one turn. Okay. Um, here. Two, three. There we go. Um, one, two, three. Perfect. Shoot. It won't be a sick baby. That's the only thing I can look at. It won't be a sick baby. If he goes for her, he might go for someone else. But if that is everyone's turns though, so go to the next day. They always go for one and then run. Okay, who got sick? Who got sick? Oi, I forgot. That's my fault. The Vergina smacked and ran. Of course it did. So Ghost is hurt and John is sick. Well. Darn. And Ivory has the sleeping sickness. Of course. Is Rime is pregnant? Forgot about that. Oh hey, there's the other rogue male. Okay. So that I think it's the other rogue male. She's pregnant, so she's safe. Um, let's see. Ivory. Oh, I was gonna do something with him. Dang it. It's fine. I can wait a turn. It's four days old, and we're already going at it. There we go. Let us clean his wounds. Grab this thing. Hey. I need both of them to get purred for. Her. I need food. I need. We, we did this one. We already knew about these three. I need a purr for him. I need. You're poisoned. You're you're done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with it. Um, let's get meringue in here. Hi. Oh come on. Why are you? They're not gonna have any mercy. They don't have the same issues that these guys have. Different tribe, different issues. They're not gonna. But no. lucky with that rain. Okay. You know what, Ivory? Just put down the nest. Tadruk. Come over here. Kanto. Uh, Arya. Get that root. Okay, these guys are good for now. Is still stuck. Okay, um.
Yeah, you're not getting around, buddy. I don't know what you think you're doing. Well, at least there's no puddles directly right there. Just warning you, you're not gonna like it. These guys over here don't play like that. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, those guys over there don't play like that. Okay. Okay. Really quickly, so I don't forget. Let's check on our first baby. We have melanism? Oh, I forgot I gave them some melanism as well to make things fair. Yeah. Meringue has melanism recessive. Um, so he got melanism and albinism. So he could go either way. Okay. <laughs> we do have the mega horns, which is good to see. The hammer tails recessive, blindness recessive, um, red and black horns. They look like really dark brown though. Um, gray, because of course. With this rogue male, we got lucky with the, the gray instead. Um, lack of color was the biggest want. Lean body, which is not the end of the world. The body shape doesn't affect us a whole lot here. Um, yeah. He has at least a healthy little baby boy. So, let's see. And we got the immunity gene E, which was going to be a lifesaver. So, um, actually, let me know what y'all think we should name this little boy. Um, he's definitely got some future with whichever side of the tribe he decides to go to. Um, but for now, we are going to have to end things here. So, thank y'all so much for joining me today. If y'all could, do please leave a like. Leave any tips, tricks, suggestions that y'all have noticed in the comment section down below, and uh, any naming suggestions that y'all have, especially for this newest little baby. And we're about to have um, two more on this side, plus frosts on this side. So, yeah, all kinds of things. And, um, do please subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.